So your aim is bad. You keep dying. And you can't win. What to do? Don't worry, because I'm going to help you out. So for those who do not know me, my name is Jay. You can call me whatever you want. And I've been playing Arsenal since 2018 and gained a respectable level of 600 something. I have no light. The first and most essential thing in almost every first person shooter games, if not all, is about the sensitivity. Because if you have ridiculously high sensitivity that just one flick will recreate the scene of Interstellar or the lowest DPI, that you have to grind your mouse all the way from Asia to Europe just to look to your left. So what we gotta do is just find that sweet spot that'll get you those headshots. Generally 800 to 1600 DPI is the ideal sweet spot for most FPS players. Go to your search bar and type in mouse settings, all right? What you're gonna do is go to additional mouse options and mouse properties will pop up. And what you're gonna do is go to pointer options and you're gonna uncheck the enhanced pointer position box. Now after turning this off, this will feel weird. It will feel like your mouse is more slidey than usual. Basically, this gives you a little bit of accuracy on your aiming. And if you can't customize your DPI, if you do not have any custom software, you can also adjust it from the mouse pointers. And the unfortunate thing is you can't see the DPI itself, so you just have to give it a feel and try to get used to it. And I generally, for Arsenal, I recommend you to use low DPI, around 800, but it's up to you. Okay, so the next thing, mess around with your camera sensitivity. Generally, I don't recommend using the default options here because this is garbage. It's just garbage setting, not gonna lie. I generally go around, this is how my sensitivity is, usually is. It looks like a, it looks like a troll, but this is what I actually use. You probably didn't notice, but you can also change the FOV in Arsenal. I usually go around 96 and you can go all the way. Some even use like 110. It's crazy. It's not really that big of a deal when it comes to FOV. Generally low FOV gives you less peripheral vision. So I recommend you around 90 up for example. And as of this recording, Rolf added a new feature called enemy outlines. Just go to the little gear bar here on the menu screen of Arsenal and go to graphics. And you can see on the bottom of the graphics advance, there will be called enemy outlines. Turn that on and you can customize its color. And basically some garbage maps in Arsenal are really bright or sometimes really dark that it makes it hard to see the enemies. So I recommend you turning this on so you can have a better look at where the opponents are. The next thing is about your mouse grip. I cannot help mobile players watching this so forgive me. For the grip of the mouse, I don't really recommend putting your whole palm on the mouse because it makes your aim more fidgety, more shaky basically. I recommend using a claw grip. How I grip my mouse is basically an extreme version of claw grip. I'm only using my thumb and my pinky finger on the back side of my mouse to adjust it from left to right. I don't really use my whole hand much. It's kind of a weird grip, but it helped me get a lot of headshots, I'm not gonna lie. So. I recommend you experimenting with your grip, but generally I do not recommend using your whole palm, but it's up to you. Now the third thing, really important, is strafing. Even I sometimes forget how to strafe and I just stand there like an idiot and get killed. You do not want to just stop, stand and just shoot an arsenal. You gotta keep moving. And not just arsenal, it just generally applies to most FPS games. Well, except for Valorant because you have to stop and like shoot is kind of boring. I prefer more movement games like Apex Legends and this Arsenal. Basically strafing is just moving left to right to dodge the bullets but I don't recommend just going left to right left to right without substance. Just repetitive. That will make you more predictable. So what I recommend you to do is make your own kind of you know recipe of strafing. For example go to left go to right, then go to right again, then go to left or right, and just, you know, mix that up, right? It adds unpredictability against your opponents and will make you harder to hit. As you can see in my gameplay, I never just stand still. I always strafe and it really helps dodging my opponent's bullets almost every time. And 
The next thing is about covers. Abuse covers. Always use covers. Even if there's no enemies in sight, always stand behind something because you will never know if someone just gets behind you as you can see there are like there are like half a dozen of enemies just spawned and walk outside so what do you think i should do i'm not gonna stand in the center like an idiot i'm gonna take cover and now the last thing this is pretty obvious but you gotta have some map sense if you're a new player in arsenal explore the maps all right don't focus on winning just explore the maps and get a feel on where this goes and what part is that where that leads to because often times those unexplored areas that you generally do not go to pro players always abuse those areas to get from point a to b to get to the enemy spawn so what i recommend you generally is do not follow your teammates most of the time your teammates are noobs all right you're not a noob anymore you're watching this video you're a pro player now go against the tide all right thankfully arsenal shows your teammates usernames right it shows shows it on the map what you're gonna do is look for the blank areas what i mean by the blank areas where your teammates aren't because that's where most of the enemies are all right and a bonus tip when you have projectile weapons for example this little snowball don't don't put your crosshair directly at the enemy because projectiles in arsenal they are more on the bottom right corner so what you're gonna do is aim at the enemy, but adjust it slightly at the top left corner so you can hit them more accurately. And yeah, that's mostly it for the things that you should learn on how to get pro in Arsenal. I guarantee you, you will be playing significantly better than before you were watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. And I recommend you guys to turn on the notification bell so if I post any new tutorials like this that may be useful to you, you'll get notified. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.